Hello everyone, welcome to the third episode of my new Minecraft Ocean Block series. Um, while, I, while I was not recording, I did some stuff that costed a lot of time to do, so I thought, hey, let's not record that because it will be very boring to look at. I uh, kind of uh, <laughs> removed the mess that I made in the last episode. Uh, our first home was here in the mountain. Uh, I removed the entire mountain and moved it to over here. So my plan is to make a, a little house here with a staircase that goes underground underneath the rest of this and just have an outside garden here. Um, I also uh, explored a bit, a couple of uh, little boats around my base, I recovered some loot from that. Uh, this loot, a chest full of all different stuff, I have no clue what it all is. Um, I did see this, a handy pouch. I could maybe, it's an ender pouch by the way, so I could maybe use it in the, in the future to connect it to an... Uh, system in my base that will sort all the items so when i'm exploring i could uh, uh, sort everything automatically uh, also got a jetpack i have no way to charge it yet though so i cannot use it um, and i was uh, sieving some uh, some sand and i'm currently in the process of making a new sieve uh, I'm in the process of making an iron sieve, so I can automate it by using hoppers. Um, so we can start automating our first process. Um, and yeah, because I like automation a lot. Um, yeah, and I uh, also made a change on our farm. We now no longer have all these different crops that I'm not using anyways, we just use this. The potatoes that I can bake. Um, yeah, and in this episode I'm planning on moving all the stuff inside uh, as well. Or maybe lowering the floor one bit. And I've decided that I uh, will do some cuts inside of the episode. So uh, when I'm doing something very boring, I will just pause the recording. Uh, so that you guys don't have to see that. For example, when I need to sift, uh, I can show it uh, the whole time, but it's bo just boring to look at. So I decided to cut that. And uh, yes, let's uh, craft an iron uh, sluice. Iron sluice. How do we make that? It's just this, but then I first need to make those iron nuggets. And then chains, chains, chains. Let's recover the sluice. Uh, let's see. Um, I already forgot how to make it. So, like that. Look, if I do uh, shift here, it tells me that I can automate the automation of fluids, not the automation of. Um, uh, no, the wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> I can uh, automate items, not fluids. Uh, for that I need a diamond sluice, but diamonds are pretty hard to make. So uh, there is no way for me to get a diamond sluice yet. So, um, let's move it inside. Because why not? Oh. <laughs> That's a weird system. Uh, no, we're also gonna move our infinite water pool to here. Mm -hmm. This one. So, let's put a lot of water into these things. Okay, that one is full. Okay, like that. Uh, the mesh in that one, because I want to also make an iron mesh for the new sluice. 
for that I need four more iron, one string and four sticks. I have four iron, I have sticks. And I think I might also have some strings. Just one. That's maybe I can use this one to make more. So much items. St oh, I can use the 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 items from the cotton plant. Let's see, where is the cotton plant? Here we have the cotton plant. Let's use it. One, two, three. So like that. Now we can craft our iron mesh. Iron mesh. Iron mesh. Like that. And this uh, should now go a lot quicker. Uh, and now I need to collect items to create hoppers so I can automate the process. Um, but first I will uh, lower this floor one block because that's what I wanted to do. And then I can move other items from outside into here. I'm first just gonna do a, c a couple of blocks because it's just so boring to mine an entire floor. So, like that. It's very dark in here, by the way. I'm gonna fix that soon. Oh. So, let's see. Let's mine these. Also, let's also mine this. And the fireplace can stay outside. place all of this back mm, let's see I think I want this one in the corner with the tinker station part builder and then the part chest furnace here and then the the other chest next to it uh, let's put the dripper no not there because then I cannot access the crafting table let's put the dripper there so like that very fancy mm. now let's move this chest in a very professional way I'm not starting to sort items yet because it just sucks to do I hope to be able to create some way of automated sorting anytime soon Let's dump all the items in there. And then we also need this one for our mining corner. With all the items. And let's, by the way, put it down here. Because that's where the hoppers will be ending into. Saves me the saves me to have to move it again um, let's see let's shift some more gravel and I could maybe mm, fix this floor it's boring but it has to happen Anything else outside that I can do? No. Well, anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna fix this floor first. I'm gonna mine it all the way and make it wood. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I cut away a big part of the floor. No, 
now let's place in the new floor and fix the wall uh, maybe make a little staircase here so that we can walk out of the door easily something like this some cobblestone there and this one needs to be gone no wait we need to make it more narrow this is too wide because I want to use the pressure plates so like this can craft some stairs put them right here some stone there make this a bit more closed off that doesn't look great but it functions and that's good so. hmm doesn't really look great let me make some slabs like that uh, that looks a bit better so then we need to patch up the wall and I also saw that we also have a second bed somewhere oh we also have a third bed let's make a three wide bed then ultra large so like this let's see do we also have some more chests so we could maybe make this a bit more looking like it's supposed to look like that also attach a third row like that um, have some torches and then I think we're done I will add it I could also light up the entire island I think already starting to look like a nice house <laughs> oh he's gonna kill me no he's not great so who he is though oh <laughs> I am very lucky let's we see do we have some food here I thought I baked some baked potatoes. Oh, I guess I just planted them. Let's see. Some carrots. Not enough. Pork chop. Oh, 
Do we really don't have anything else to eat? No, we don't. Way better. <laughs> that doesn't look way better. So we now have some pork chop that we can eat. We generate some more health. Uh, and then we need some. Uh, Iron. So, like that. That one really goes a lot quicker. iron do we need uh, just for the feeding process I mean the item pickup is something that I could do myself that's not really that big of an issue Just the thing is, when I can automate this, I can do something else than having to do this by hand. somewhere here is the hammer also have two of these and this and this oh and some iron chunk here why is it here is there more iron hidden somewhere no well, let's just cook that one If we do this, we can make enough iron to make a hopper so that we could automize this process. not really the way I wanted to place it it's possible to put it like on top yes it also works uh, great so now we have an automated sieving system now we only need to have another hopper so the items can also automatically be picked up. And the only thing I have to worry about is pumping water into this thing. And that's something that we can auto make automatically, I think. 
at least that's what our quest book said, right? It said, uh, let's see. Oh, I can. Oh, I can claim some. Wait, what did I get? Another one of those stupid ender pouches. Huh? Oh shit. Um, what the fuck? It's such a mess. Where's the chest? Here's the chest. Also throw away these items. Why is this thing not oh so we were looking at the quest book because it said that The word ID allows basic item estimation. It may be okay. I just need to have an. Uh, Diamond sieve as soon as possible, then. Then how can I make diamond? Um. Ooh, golden mesh. Oh, but that's. I can make a golden mesh soon. I think. I mean, I have this. Gold dust. Just it just needs another. Uh, yes. So is there a higher chance to get it? Is seven percent? Thirteen percent. Oh, that's with the gold mesh. I just need to mine a bit more so I can get another uh, gold mesh, and then the chances of getting diamonds are there. So I have a lot of sand that I can use for this. That I all recovered while terraforming this island. Three times compressed sand, so here even more sand. So I have plenty of sand to get started. Then I also need new string, I think. Gold mesh. Let's see. Yes, I need one more string. Um, let's see. Where did we put the string? Here. So only three. Also a lot of copper already. <laughs> Iron. We do have enough iron, I think, for making a second hopper. That's great to be able to work on that in the meantime. No, don't tell me that I put away. Oh, I thought I put away the hammer. So, some more iron. Uh, where is it? There. 
Nickel, nickel, aluminium. Let's put some more water in the machine. Yeah, four gold chunks. So now we can make another gold dust. And four gold dusts gift gives us one of those other things. Let's see. One, two, three. We also have enough iron now to make another hopper. I will just make another chest and put it down here. We can use as an automated item pickup system should work it does work that's great let's throw in all these stuff mm, iron dust so now we have four gold ingots then we can use those gold ingots combined with stick and string to make a golden mesh but the question is how do we take out the mesh like that and then we can replace this with an iron mesh Out of water. So now we have a chance of getting diamonds. The percentage is very low though. Let's see what the percentages are. Diamonds. Oh, and we need to. Oh shit, we need to save gravel and not. Hmm. We do have gravel, I think, and otherwise, we make gravel. One time, compressed gravel, gravel. It's compressed gravel. Gravel. Uh, so we can. Oh, oh, there is a witch somewhere here. Oh, not my bucket. Gravel. I think I cannot. Oh, I thought I, I could not sleep because of other mobs that were here. What's that sound, man? Never mind, I'm not even going up. So now we do have a chance of getting... Diamonds. The chance is very low though. What are all these noises? I think I am gonna go outside because I want to remove the floor. That's standing in front of my house, so I can use those uh, blocks to sift again. So let's eat to kill these mobs. Oh, it almost went kaboom! Almost dead again. PvP really isn't my strongest point. So we now have some more potatoes and some more carrots and some more of those. Oh, so we're having an 
wandering trader. Oh no. Oh, I can use a hat. Oh my god, what's this? This is scary. We are gonna use that. So let's see, does our trader have some loot for me? No. Hey, maybe kill these so we drop some lead. Yes, we can use these to capture some mobs because there was a chicken here. We could capture the chicken and let him lay eggs. <laughs> so we could duplicate the chicken. Let's see. We are gonna actually do that. <laughs> It also gives us the ability to maybe farm food by farming the chicken. Like by starting with only one chicken, uh, two chickens, I mean. We could make like a chicken breeder. Uh, where should we put the chicken though? Let's put him right there. Let's just make this into a chicken breeder. <laughs> Let's see. Now we need some chests. Uh, and then two more iron. And then in the meantime, put some new water in this thing. But anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode there. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna make an automated chicken food farm. Uh, and in the next episode, uh, I am gonna try to get some diamonds maybe. Because I already have a diamond chunk now. Uh, off camera, I am gonna shift some more items, get some more loot. Uh, and I'm gonna make this floor nice and grassy and light it up. And then in the next episode we will move on with automating this stuff. And maybe do some redstone, some basic redstone for our automated chicken food. So, uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.